Right guys, so now it is official. Legends Limited Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Evolution Vegeta is going to be getting a Zenkai. I for one am extremely excited for this unit. I just want to remind you guys really, really quick. The last couple of Zenkais, LF Zenkais that we got in LF Rose, absolute monstrosity of a unit. And then you take a look at Dragon Fist Super Saiyan 4 Goku as well. I am a dead scared of that unit. So I my expectations for Legend Limited Zenkais are definitely up there. Um, I'm definitely going to be rocking this Zenkai him as soon as I get the chance. I mean, honestly, this character here, he does buff a few tags. We all expected this character, by the way. So uh, he's going to buff, of course, uh, Universal Saga with his tags, um, as well as uh, God Key and Vegeta Kain. We'll be taking a look at the whole thing and what he does as well, because I completely forgot what this character does. Um, I know, I think he's a range type unit, but I literally forgot. Now, this is going to be coming out this weekly reset. And uh, alongside a lot of stuff, guys, including the equipment Bonza. So I'm going to be going over his equipment as well. The best equipment you guys should farm for him. And uh, by the way, if you guys do find value in today's video, make sure you guys simply like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. So really quick, let's jump over to the character. I want to see really quick his stats, right? So he is a range type unit, okay? His, his Okay, so his blast attack is at, let's see, at 252. This could definitely be much, much higher, okay? This is him maxed out at 14 stars. Blast attack at 252. Uh, strike defense at 160. Blast defense at 163, which is kind of notable. And then strike attack at 248, which is kind of low as well. So I'm definitely expecting his blast attack to exceed around 270 to 285, give or take, uh, which is very significant. Uh, but I have not, I'm telling you guys, I have not read this guy's kit in forever. Um, I do know he holds something with his blast. Yeah, he does. Okay. He holds a blast card that, you know, um, so it says here, every time he uses a blast card, um, he gets 20% damage blast inflicted for two timer count. So that's pretty good too. Um, but we're going to be reading what he does here. And like I said, he buffs Universal Saga, God Key, and Vegeta Klein, base blast attack, and base track defense up to 35%, which is very notable. These are all of the equipments right here. His equipments, if, if really quick guys, he already has three unique equipments, okay? So he has this, okay, but this one right here, this is more strike orientated. I'll be taking a look at all these in just one bit. Uh, I just really want to see what he does because I completely forgot, to be honest with you guys. I kind of have like a recollection, but I just kind of forgot what he does. So let's have a read together. Uh, it says here, main ability, now you can finally see my all. Draw the ultimate arts card, limit breaking below next Restores own health by 35%, which is actually very good. Um, plus 20% to special move damage, uh, to special move and awaken and ultimate uh, damage inflicted for 30 timer counts. Also applies the buff effect, nullify enemies' special actions while cover changing for 10 timer counts. Hopefully that was a little bit more structured uh, for a main ability. Um, maybe that should have been bumped up to like 25 to 30 timer counts. That'd be pretty cool. A little bit broken, but that would be much, much better. But this guy is slightly outdated, right? So also his first unique ability is Shattering Through Limits. Applies the following effects to self when battle starts. Plus 90% damage inflicted cannot be canceled. That's pretty good. Also reduces damage received by 30% cannot be canceled, uh, which is the standard LF buffs uh, just, you know, just for existing <laughs> pretty much, right? Um, also applies the following effects to self if own key is 35 or lower when using an arts card. Okay, he restores key by 20 and damage inflicted by 25% for 15 timer counts. Now, I wish this was a little bit higher than 35, but then that would be kind of broken, right? Because he would keep getting key back and all that stuff. Does he have card draw speed? Let's take a look. Okay, anyways, he also has... Um, when this character is on the battlefield, applies the following effects to self when causing a character with revive to reach zero, okay? Uh, which is pretty much never, except for UI Goku now, right? So uh, he nullifies own um, unfavorable element factors for 30 timer counts, which is very significant. Also reduces enemy Dragon Balls by two. Now, this is not going to happen too often. I'll tell you that right now. This is definitely not going to happen too often. So we'll have to wait and see exactly if they do anything there. His next unique ability is Sparking Power. The following effects occur when cover changing, okay? When changing cover. Uh, randomly destroys one of your own cards and draw a special move arts next, activates once, and reduces damage received by 20% until combo ends. Also knocks enemies back to long range if cover change is performed against a blast attack, and you could combo that in with a special move, which he does draw once. Um, also the following effects occur when this character, when this, when, okay, 
the following effects occur when enemy okay when enemy switches characters while this character is on the battlefield he draws one new card when he has three or fewer and also 20 percent damage inflicted for 20 for 15 time accounts so this character actually needs a lot of stuff i'm not gonna lie he has zero card draw speed he definitely needs card draw speed his stats needs to be bumped up a little bit more uh he has cover notification but with his um but with his um main ability for only 10 time accounts so he is very subpar i'll tell you that right now um other than that he has pretty solid damage i guess he has 90 percent 25 percent when using an arts card where his key is 35 or lower he's kind of iffy man i'll tell you that they're gonna have to do a lot with this character i think for him to be you know um on par with rose lf rose zenkai and as well as super saiyan 4 dragon fist zenkai as well uh but his blast attack reduces enemies oh okay reduces enemies key by 30 on hit so that's his blast attack which is pretty good his uh green card let's take a look here randomly draws one new card restores own health by 10 percent okay and plus 25 percent damage inflicted for 30 timer counts cannot be stacked nor canceled so that's pretty good too um also reduces damage received by 20 percent for 30 timer counts cannot be stacked nor can it be canceled so pretty good green card i'm not gonna lie very good green card as a matter of fact um and he holds one strike one blast his ultimate skill uh he does supreme damage impact and um his uh his super final flash he seals enemies blast cards on hits and that cannot be used for five timer counts like i said he buffs universal saga god key and vegeta clan and in terms of his equipments he has a lot going for him he really does if you guys just take a look uh, like I said, he has three unique equipments right away, but um, of course, two of them are very limited to, um, you know, to basically universe rep for one of them. Or uh, right here, we have this uh, more strike oriented. I forgot what this one does. I think this one's more either strike or blast. I'll take a look at it. I'll make a full video on that later. But um, but yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think about all this. Will he be as good as Dragon Fist? I don't know. I don't know. They have to do a lot with this character for that to be the case. Um, a lot, you know. This character does come out tomorrow, so we'll have to wait and see. I'll uh, make a full guide and stuff like that for you guys, uh, just discussing everything. And these are all a little quick recap of what we can expect also um, for the, um, you know, of course, for uh, you know, for the weekly reset. Now, we are not going to get Rosé, Ultra Rosé this weekly reset. It's going to be the next weekly reset. Uh, but yeah, God is getting buffed, as you guys can see. We just got Revival UI Goku. Evolution of Vegeta is getting Zenkai. Rose is coming in. But also, Future is getting buffed as well. And Future is looking a lot more scary than God Key, to be honest with you guys. I mean, Future is God's, God Key's got some muscle as well. But we got, you know, uh, you know uh, Future Gohan. We got Rose, but he's also God Key as well. Uh, but it's just Android 17, 18, Fall Sun Galagun is a little bit more structured, I'd say so. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap it up. Comment down below. What do you guys think about this character? Um, are you guys hyped or are you guys not? Do you guys wish it was somebody else, like maybe Corrupt some Masu? Uh, he will get his time eventually. But um, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you simply like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I'll definitely catch you guys once again on the next one. Have a good one. Peace.